Okay, before we start this video, I just wanted to preface the whole thing with a privilege check, because even though that I got infected, I think it is still very important to say that I'm in a very, very lucky position that I've been able to come here and self-isolate. I'm not flaunting or anything, I just wanted to point it out there. Let's start the video. So why am I here? Well, obviously because I got infected after... Luckily, I am uh, triple waxed. I think I was one of the lucky ones where the symptoms were not so horrible for me. For reasons that I don't really want to say in this video, I couldn't really self-isolate at home. So when I made the initial phone call to, um, to the Danish health authorities for the corona hotline over here that I'm infected, I have asked like, is there an option for me to actually come to a place where I can self-isolate? So I'm in a hotel around 15 minutes away from my house by bike and I can literally see the central station outside my window. I don't know if I can name drop the place, but it's called... Uh, maybe you can leap read that stuff. The room is quite nice. I think you have everything that you would need for uh, you know, four to five days while you're self-isolating. Uh, it has a couple of beds. It has a small kitchenette with a microwave and a fridge. It has a TV, a bathroom, and it also has a workstation you know, where you can plug in your computer, sit down on a chair and use a desk. But to be honest, the view is just so amazing here. That I've been kind of spending most of my time in this spot because I just couldn't get enough of this. The weather has been super nice for the past few days, which is very funny, haha, <laughs> right? Because I couldn't go outside. But, you know, just watching the sunrise and the sunset from here and, and looking at the, the cityscape of Copenhagen at night is just, uh, I don't know, it was just lovely. I think the only downside to this is that I'm on the seventh floor and there is no elevator. I don't know if it's me being unfit or it's just COVID, but seven set of stairs is just, it's a lot. So what is sort of uh, included in this whole experience? Of course, I get this room to myself. I am completely alone in here and I'm not allowed to go outside aside from just stepping outside the side door of the, the hotel. Which kind of reminds me of this scene from IT Crowd, if you know what I'm talking about. Terrible, isn't it? Every year it gets worse. First they take away our smoking room. Then they push us outside. I, want I think there's quite a few people on this floor. I obviously I haven't met anybody and there is a curfew where we are not allowed to leave the room. Okay, what's the food situation? And at the beginning of the video, I talked about privilege and I'm just adding another level of that to here is because I'm vegan. So of course I asked them if they could, you know, kind of prepare food for me that is suitable, which they have been pretty okay aside from the morning. This is the first morning. Let's see what breakfast we got today. Juice, cheese, jam, more cheese, butter, butter, more jam, coffee, more cheese, and some tea. And we got a few pieces of bread. And of course the rye bread. The food is mostly takeaway, I guess, I don't know, it's fine. I really have nothing to complain about. Okay, maybe I have something to complain about. Why do you Danes put chili in salads? I just don't understand it. Why would you put a chili in most of your salads? Can, I don't know. The way we get our food is uh, someone is knocking at the door, we have to wait a couple of minutes until they leave, and then I open the door and I, like a UFO catcher, I just grab it and bring it in. Like Gollum, or some, some horrible creature. But we're also allowed to order some food, or if you wanted to, we can get our families to deliver some food for us. That means that I have to go downstairs and I can meet the delivery person just by the side door. And then I have to crawl up all the way here again and just cough. So what have I been doing so far? It's been two days? Three days? I got tested positive on a Tuesday and it's been a few days. So I've been mostly just working. Luckily, I have a job that I can easily do from home as well. So it hasn't really been a, a big issue. I've also been shooting some stuff here and there, um, editing videos. I'm actually editing this video right now. I've been also writing some stuff and yeah, just watching a little bit of Netflix as well. But I've been a good boy, so I haven't been going to bed so late, uh, getting proper sleep, because I want to get out of here as soon as possible. Getting out, when is that? Yes, that is happening tomorrow morning. 
to the egg hold of the Danish uh, Corona hotline. We just went through a bunch of questions together. You know, I just wanna make sure that when I leave and I go back to my house, I'm not gonna be infecting anybody from my household, which is quite important. So altogether, I spent three nights and four days here, and I just wanna say that I am extremely grateful for this. One question that might be on your mind right now is that who is actually paying for all this stuff? And um, the simple answer to this is yes, it is free. I did not have to pay for the room or for the food whatsoever. But the nuance to this answer is that I pay 40% tax each month. So, you know, this question is kind of up to your interpretation if you consider this uh, free. What I think about this is that I'm just extremely grateful that I got to be here when me and my family needed this. This was extremely helpful for us that I got to do this and I got to be away from them and not spreading anything onto them, you know, just keeping them safe. So I am extremely grateful for this. The hotel staff, even though I only met them when I got the key card to the room, they have been extremely helpful over the phone and just super chill about this whole situation. I realized that this is not the kind of job that they signed up for when they started working at a hotel. So yeah, just a massive kudos to them for being so professional about this and making this as uh, seamless as it was for me. So yeah, thanks for the people working at the hotel and the people working at the Corona hotline. They were just very effective and uh, just got me this place literally within an hour or two. So yeah, thanks for all your help. And I hope you stay safe. Bye. All right, this is it. I'm gonna be leaving now.